Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnerman at YouTube with a, another model video. Today we're going to be building, reviewing, unboxing and finishing the E2046 17 scale figure of Saturn Rico from Railgun and the Index Anime. This is a resin garage kit or GK for short in Japan a hobby that's completely different to plastic injection modeling where the methods assembly and products are a complete uh, different skill set and approach. E2046 is a recaster from Hong Kong that acquires garage kits from events such as Wonder Festival or kits sold across Japan and reproduces them for a greater audience. There are copyright and ethic discussions to be had but we will not cover in this video. I have a few of these garage kits in anime figure form as well as other subjects under my belt and feel very confident to take you all through this uh, build and give you a general guide on how to approach it for your Self. A garage kit would come with a number of individually cast pieces and a few very fine pieces on a large sprue resin runner. Each of these parts will need to have the sprue which the resin is poured in, cut, removed and cleaned and dried fit to see if it all fits together. Resin is an interesting material where it can warp and change with heat or from the casting process and it may need further work to make sure it fits or a putty to eliminate gaps. Depending on which recaster or original mold you get, there may be further cleanup such as flash from resin seeping through the seam of a mold or air bubbles from a lack of a chamber pot being used. This will all be cleaned up with uh, putty sanding and cutting. A few points, resin when cast will use a release agent as a lubricant to remove the model and needs to be cleaned up before painting. Uh, soapy water, scrubbing and detergent is ideal. Larger parts may not interconnect or snap fit with a larger peg and hole to hold weight or just stay together. It's ideal to drill holes, add a brass peg and put it together to support its own weight. At a later date for colour separation you may choose to glue it together with super glue or some form of epoxy. As these projects are probably designed by artisans, amateurs or people willing to have a go at making their own toys and figures, you may not have any reference or instruction material of uh, parts count and how to assemble. The minimum you'll have a picture of the cast parts with the sprues removed and they reference picture of it all together and painted. Color guides are also very unusual and a lot of this has to be worked out by the modeler. The standard with E2046 is to include a very basic parts breakdown and photo of a finished version as well as decals for more complicated markings such as tattoos and eyes. Uh, buying from other manufacturers or straight from the artist won't necessarily include these and you'll have to hand paint them and reproduce it yourself. Some sellers do have aftermarket scaled anime eyes which can come in handy. It's a wild frontier of modelling with a lot of challenges and unknowns. A lot of experienced plastic modellers love to enter this as well as others who are far more creative and looking for a break from very easily follow instruction models, gunpla and the sort. You can also add your own flair or taste in shading, choosing colours and painting. A bit of the build that I'm doing here, this seems to be a recast from a figure rather than an existing garage kit with some pegs that fits inside the body which makes this a whole lot easier. Uh, for a beginner E2046 is a very safe approach as on the website you can see the breakdown of parts, the inclusion such as decals and instructions and make a decision without entering the unknown. I've sat on this model for a while, assembling it quite a while ago and not painting it until very recently. First I chose out the colours and instead of spraying it just a flat single 
single blue, red or skin tone, I gravitated to a range of colours for gradient shading, especially for the flesh, and started with a darker tone, building up slowly as light would naturally cascade down skin, a shirt or even a dress. My process includes analysing each of the parts and thoroughly watching, washing it in a body of water with dish detergent and a sponge, then soaking it in clean water and allowing it to dry for a period of time, marking the nubs with a paint marker or texture and removing it with basic nippers, cutting blade and sanding it down as you would with a plastic injection modeling model. Uh, please note that resin dust is a bit on the uh, toxic side and it's best to wet sand to keep it in the sponge and in the water and not make it airborne to breathe. It is carcinogenic and can cause health complications. I'll test pit fits all the components to make sure it uh, fits together and remove any material or improve for a very flush close fit. Then drill a hole all the way through to add a pin and make sure the other side can reciprocate and hold itself together with sheer weight. These pins will also be used to hold apart when I'm painting and if there's no pins you still have to be tactical and strategic of how to hold the part for painting you can make a complex rigs with a bit of sprue or wire or where you're gluing components together you can drill two holes and use an alligator clip to hold everything together followed by priming the components looking for any imperfection that needs to be covered through sanding putty or other further work and retest fitting, fixing the issues and priming a second time. Sometimes you'll see primer not sticking to certain parts as that's where the release agent still is. This can be buffed, sand, rewashed and reapplied. Then with the painting process, I stored each part in Ziploc bags and coloured it one part at a time, allowing a sufficient amount of time to dry before putting it away. Resin doesn't uh, attract or etch the paint too well thus sanding and buffing the whole surface with a thousand grit sandpaper gives it a little more grit to jump on though I allow a maximum of a few days for the paint to harden and dry for maximum bondage. These are very clean models so you don't have the same detail weathering or washes as you would with a mechanical science fiction subject or a military figure or tank. So I put a lot of effort into painting where it looks good and holds definition such as small streaks in the hair and multiple shades for each component. I'm not going to touch up with a wash but I do do some hand painting for the finer details. The water slide decals were applied with water and set in place. Once dried I covered everything in a matte clear varnish to dull the whole model and not have any unnatural gloss. If I was to hand paint the eyes I'll do it in a polyurethane or acrylic in the event of making a mistake wiping it out with some alcohol and attempting again. Probably redrawing the detail with a mechanical pencil. Once all the parts have dried for a good week not to chip or cause damage for assembling I applied PVA glue to to all the surfaces where the holes and pegs are and clicked it together and mounted on the base. The base is a basic wave figure base for an anime figure repainted and decorated to suit this model. With the figure all finished, photographed and done, I was very pleased with how this came about. I haven't done a garage kit for a very long time with multiple projects demanding my attention or time. It's a little more involved than an injection molded model or anything that's quick to build like a tank or gun them though I had a thorough amount of fun and very pleased with how this was finished. A project like this is not for everyone but if you're intended on trying aim for something with very little flesh and a lot of overhanging clothing for a very easy build and color. Again E2046 is fairly safe with a lot of their recent kits though the older ones are hit and miss from a decade or so ago on the second hand market. 
This concludes the build. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time stay tuned for further builds. Check out the description section down below for reference material and links to all of my socials and other projects and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Reminder I have a lot of videos on painting these.